Hey everyone, I am Trigger Strafey, and this video is going to be about something that's kind of very personal to me in kind of a weird way, but it's kind of interesting. But um, I'm a huge fan of metal music. I love it. I've loved it since I discovered it back in my high school days, and I fell in love with it, and I loved everything kind of about it. And so, when I was in high school, I had, I met this guy named Eric Nelson, and you might know of him as the uh, guitarist of Vector. And I didn't really know him too much. I just kind of met him and it was kind of like that. But through other friends, I got to know him and it, it I discovered his band, Vector. And it, it was kind of like, it's kind of the funny thing between me and my friends is that they always say, like, I didn't really like Vector at first because, or like, I'm not a true fan sometimes because I didn't like the demo. But it was like, I don't know, I, I just for some reason couldn't dig the demo. But, um because it's just the production and everything but um once the black future came out i fell in love i just like whew, it was just done from there it was just like it was just intense and the music was awesome and i could hear everything clearly through the sound and what my friends would have been telling me for years they're like i can't you hear all the good stuff but they listen to black metal so they can hear that weird kind of production stuff so once black future came out um it just kind of like exploded for Vector. It was just like all their friends and everyone surrounding the environment or the scene, the metal scene at the time in Arizona where they're from um, and where I currently reside in, it, is, it started to get just huge. And it just like, it started, like people started noticing the band on the internet. And it was just weird to us because they were just like, we always knew they were good, but we didn't necessarily know how amazing they would be into the rest of the world. We just were, we wanted our hometown band to be awesome. Just like for the world. It's like, they're the hometown heroes. It's like, I'm not actually from like Arizona, but to the band Air Vector became like the hometown band for all of us that were staying here. And what happened after that was the fact that like then they just released better and better albums better music and um my fr and, and then our friend our friend Eric Nelson who was really a big part of like um inspiring us to like play guitar and make cool music it was just really cool of him just always being one of the coolest guys you ever can meet like one of my fondest memories of Eric was uh, us playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uh, when it came out on the Xbox 360 and we'd play online and we were just shooting people and killing people and then next thing you know we'd be like stuck in a spot and I hear Eric on yelling like help me and then or we'd be like I'd be screaming like I need backup and it was just it was just fun I mean like if you meet him today he'll probably just give you a hug and just say hey how how awesome that is you're enjoying his music or just saying hey what's up to him he's just he's just a really cool guy one of the one of a kind person in this world and it's really why I'm like talking about all this stuff before I get to the actual main part of this video is because Vector to us was a really part of us it was a part of our like friendship it was a part of our lifestyle it was a part of us as this people it was just like this band was our band it was that band that you know that you've seen go from playing in your your neighborhood to just blowing up and playing stages across every like country it was just that's what this band was to us and it's heartbreaking to all of us to see that this band that was just like our, just our connection to like uh, just a yeah, huge connection to like a metal the metal scene like because we love all different types of metal and everything or in, in between but this band was the one that we were just like dude that we've seen them since when we were younger and we went to so many shows when they played this small club and we just seen them grow up and it was just going over to their house and listening to their music it just it's those things that like makes it part of us and it's just crazy and like when i found out the news that they broke up it blew my mind like i honestly was like i was at work and i was just like what the fuck like and like i understand their lifestyles and their other things like connect they like have to you know you have to take time and you know you have to there's touring and schedules and everything you know it's adults we have to um schedule and do things to, uh, with that coordinate with everyone else to make things work but just to know like 
most of like everybody in the band just kind of quit and mainly David um, went on to saying that he's going to keep trying to make the band keep going and doing his doing the music he's done since the beginning. It's really crazy just to us because like it's just like we we love that band but part of us still feels like there's going to be a little disconnect even though that it's David still connected to the band, like band and he's making it's his band um, and he's still making stuff. It's just we're gonna be weird for us and just weird for me to say like listen to a vector album and not expect eric's solos or blake's drums or frank's like bass playing it's just gonna be very odd and i just wanted to talk about how much that band and how much this is impacting our kind of lives because we have such a connection and maybe it has impacted you that like one of your favorite bands just kind of just broke up and you're just like what the fuck it's, it's just, it, it throws you for a loop and you understand it, you like you internalize it and then you go on with about your day, but there's just a part of you that hits you when you just your favorite band or one of your bands that you're really connected with just kind of it's, it's not the same. So, but you know, hopefully in the future maybe, you know, they'll come to the point where Vector might get back to like may have the original members or like Eric and Blake and Frank and other people like connect and then they can make another album with all of them together hopefully that happened i'm still going to listen to like the new vector stuff if david's completely like 100 percent going and making a new album but honestly it's like i'm i, I want to hear a vector album with everybody but you know life happens and you've got to just go with it so anyways i just wanted to talk about that how it was very personal to me when they broke up and i found out the news but um, yeah, um, leave a comment below if you have that connection with any bands or anything. Well, so anyways, um, I'm Trigger Strafey, and I'll see you next time.